hey hey welcome back to my channel my name is Bucky Tete how are you doing so you know it's gonna be a beautiful 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 video today because we're going back in time with Fila Lapa and the book is titled If We Will If We is a renowned book and it is a Nigerian classic by one of the most respected literary giants from Nigeria I'm talking about the person of Fila Lapa Fila Lapa set the pace for a lot of young nigerians nigerians out there and i've been meaning to read this book if you will, for a while a long time ago i've been seeing it around back then in school but i don't know i i didn't get to read it for some reason i don't remember so i got to read it recently and i kid you not my eyebrows were like this reading this book like it shot up to this part if you will, by Flawapa is termed a feminist book because it had a female as its protagonist. This was at a time where every protagonist, every lead character in a book is actually male. And can you imagine that a lot of critics actually said, a lot of critics actually said, why would she make the lead character female? And, and, I could, and it was like I took crazy pills saying this because what was so wrong having a protagonist that is female it was it's quite wild to me this book was first published in the year 1966 and i'm just going to set the tone for you and the scene so imagine you are in colonial era nigeria and the book is set in eastern region of nigeria so that it's set among the eagles the eagles are a beautiful set of people and most of the settlements they live in small small settlements villages and just and most of their ladies by Jerome Tokesi or Igor Tinubrani Zim so and age group is very important in the pre, in the colonial era and pre-colonial era of the Igbos in eastern in the eastern region of Nigeria so you are in this settlement and you're going to see book you are going to follow the journey of a film in this book the book primarily talks about the role of women or women's plight in the society in this era the corona era in nigeria lasted from the, from 1901 then through to 1960s where independence movement started in 1963 nigeria finally became a republic so this book was set in the mid middle of the 20th century and the trade Trading pattern in this period was you're either going to be a fisherman, you get by the lakes or by the river, you get by the lakes, or you're going to be a trader. And Efu was a cutthroat businesswoman in this book. She was, and according to the book, it says that whatever her hand touches, it doubles. This goes to show how good of a trader she was. The same, just like her mother. Efu is the daughter of. A rich man, a respected man in the society, he was also a leader of his clan. So, if we is if we, yeah, if we was the beautiful lady, she was the daughter of one of his favorite, this famous man's favorite wives, and she's described as very beautiful lady, very very beautiful. And this lady, from a respected family, runs away with this poor man, but she was in love. And this man was actually poor. This man being poor was able to perform the traditional rights according to society. The Igbos respect and the Igbos are, are serious about their palm wine carrying ceremony. That is, according to their custom and tradition, have to get wine to a family, perform the rights marriage customs and traditions uh, and perform the rites of marriage but this guy did not do it because he threw ran away with him and this cost stay of course and at last at last when and at last when he finally did the right thing it was beautiful they were in love then if we had a daughter then this man ghosted her this, you know, in my, in my, one of my previous videos when I was talking about 
Zipporah, but Mama don't go there this year. I talk about how ghosting should be illegal. Ghosting is something that I have never really experienced it firsthand, but I so much hate that thing because whenever I hear the story, each story is worse than the other. I said it in my last video, if you remember, I said in my last video that each story is worse than the other. So I read Z uh, I read Zikra and I was furious. I was saying, oh, why? I would love to hear what Kwame's excuses for ghosting Zikra. Now I read Ifu and I am just angry. What is his name again? Adizwa is his name. Adizwa ran or left his wife. First of all, he started this his nasty character of not coming home early. And Ifu had to swallow these things. And she spoke to him about it and you know how the excuses started building up and at a, at, for, at, at a point she was getting tired of all the excuses then this man left left no word from him nothing to the point that they lost their child the child they had together and word was sent to him this man still ghosted this woman he did not return and it was the craziest thing i read I was expecting that he was going to return when his child died. And if you had to get her things in front of her mother in law, who actually loved her and her, and her sister in law, I said she's going back to her father's house. And they understood because, hello, what am I doing here when the person doesn't want me? Anyway, in this ghost story, we get to find out that Adizua actually had another wife or followed another woman because and she had, and had a baby with her but that's not enough reason to ghost her because this was a society that was highly polygamous in nature in nature and patriarchal i kid you not the women were actually encouraging their husbands to take in another wife when you encourage your husband to take in another wife you're considered a good woman so there was no excuse for this wife to even run away with this lady I would love to hear his side as well because these stories, men or authors, please tell us stories from the point of view of these men that ghost women. And if you are a man that was ghosted, please tell us or and then tell us why would be and then or write or vice versa because I, I, I think it's crazy. We just hear these ghosting stories and we never hear the other side. Why did you ghost her? I want to know. I want to know the story. Why did you just leave? Not everything was going okay. Okay, this one was showing signs, but a fool did not expect that he was going to ghost that even after losing a child. Imagine the pain and the trauma. Let's move on. So a fool went home, licked her wounds. Her father welcomed by her back with open arms. That was the beauty of her about being a fool. She was independent and she was strong and she was from a good well to me family. So she moved on like I don't need this. I'm leaving. But my thought was that this is not going to be the case for some other woman. She might have stayed in that house at school. She didn't have anywhere to go or you know. So if you was in her father's house minding her business and Gilbert came along. Gilbert is actually educated because at that time in society, they don't forget that this colonial era and Europeans already brought a recognized system of formal system of, of, of education. Mind you, there were actually systems of education in the society before the Europeans came in. Very informal in the European system, but there were actually ways people learned things in a society. Okay? So this recognized formal education was already in place at that moment. This guy was educated in that formal system. He married Ifu after confessing his love to her and everything. And I said, wait, I'm actually giving spoilers. I don't care because this is a classic and we're going to what is discussing it anyway. So this should not stop you from reading if you have not read it anyway. After confessing his love to her and all that, he took her in. But Ifu sadly was childless. And Ifu was was restless about this she wanted to give her husband a child okay and she encouraged her to get another wife which was taken long 
his other wife came in and the herd came in and he was in the in the gamma in the gap cemetery Fuku and she had to flee. Well on that height of Fuku's where the girls of the lake Yuhamiri chose a few to be one of her worshippers. This worshippers actually put on all white and this Uhan Mary goddess is said to give her her worshippers or her followers wealth and beauty but few children and the style of writing the flora employed third person active techniques so the omniscient eye all seeing eye told the story following Fufu's journey then it told in simple language and this book had an array of a display of the rich Igbo culture the wedding rites festivals age group and the one that i loved so much it's not just an Igbo culture anyway it cuts across africa and a lot of and europe uh, around the world that folk tales folklore we all know that most of african history were preserved through stories and songs there was actually a part whereby the the where the people gathered on the gathered at night with the chill of night on their skin and they listen to a story i love this part so much because i actually always wanted this i read books about folk tales at night and stories my mother told me and i actually just imagine myself with the moonlight serving as light for us then sit around outside i never experienced it i would love 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 to experience that place by moonlight stuff so when i read it in this book again i it just gave me that sense of yeah you must experience this so apart from the fact that if i love this book because it feels such a strong character she's independent she's a rich trader she's 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 resilient because what a lot of things that the woman passed through it's enough to keep one traumatized but this is something that a lot of african women go through losing their children having to carry the load of being childless and taking the entire blame handling a polygamous home or poly um, that's for homes that have that fact that have polygamy and just having to swallowing a lot of nonsense that the society throws at them and i think that that was something that flora was trying to show us what women had to go through in the society so it was really cool because this was a time where the circumcision was okay this was a time where women were not allowed to go to school and even if you're allowed to go to school you're considered difficult or you're considered not fit for marriage because people consider that you're not going to be African enough or according and also follow how the society have said women should act in marriage. Get me. Then another thing that was crazy was the part about polygamy. I know that I do you if you like polygamy, fine. But the fact that even if you do not like it, you have to take it because you're a woman and the society is highly patriarchal, so you will see that okay, woman had multiple husbands, you know. It's just a man having multiple wives, and it's a thing of pride. And any woman who does not accept it is considered a bad woman. It was wild to me when I read that thing. <laughs> it was so wild. But this is something that happens around us. It's still happening in for some people, but it's not as widespread as it was at this time in the middle of the mid of the twentieth century. Yeah. So this was one of the wildest wildest moments to the time where girls were only groomed for marriage you give it to a girl okay another marriage material will groom her on how to take care of a man how to sit how to cook how to sweep how to talk to a man how to be hard working how to be a strong lady that's all you see when you see a girl child and when it's male oh my god you know they celebrate it I'm not saying that females were not celebrated, but compared to males, people actually pray that, oh, you give it to sons. This is a time where women have to take a lot of things in, just smile and move on. And I think that it still happened in present time. But if I were to choose, if 
for example i know because right now we're, we're back in the past but if i'm asked ask that okay do you prefer to keep up with this life you're in or you prefer to go back in time and just stay there i would choose to be present to be born in this present day i feel blessed without batting my eyelid i'm going to choose this time because i cannot imagine that my that I, i'll take some things <laughs> you know some things i will just really wild and my eyebrows were like this reading the book like what people actually were okay with this what started this nonsense was most of the question i had in my head reading this book and i feel like that's what flora was trying to was trying to do in her writing she was trying to because she just wrote it like this is this is what men are going through in society this is it this is just somebody's story right now and this every story cuts across africa and a lot of traditions and how women some things do not make sense so she wrote it like that there were no trying to convince you or change anything it was just the way it is so that the generate the generation at that time or the people at that time could see or have a feel or an idea of what was going on or what women had to go through and also at the same time the gen young the generation to come which is us and maybe the people after us will get to also see that this was this was happening and how much progress humanity have experienced over the years and i love change i love change and i thank god for change i really do i really do i thank god for progress yeah and that's it for my april review i think i sh i think i think it should be a thing going back in time every friday what do you think leave it in the comment section and i haven't read this book i've read april by flora Pa. if you haven't i i, I recommend it for you because if you flora's works are actually beautiful so i think you'll enjoy it and it's not going to just be something that will just act in classics i don't think so because i think as much as i can if i can get classic from around the world uh to the nines it'd be so beautiful so i think i'll do it with them as much as i do so every friday i think this will be a thing i think so <laughs> i think i love this classics thing yeah so and not just i don't just if you're new here i don't just do classic reviews no uh other reviews so yeah and i hope you have subscribed <laughs> welcome once again so until next time do take good care of yourself. Goodbye.